Mommy, my friend is coming over. My daughter happily cheered about her imaginary friend, and then the motion detecting light went on. My closet door slid open with a creak, making me jump. I pretended his distraction had worked and that I didn't see him crouch in the corner of my room. As I watched the sun set over the forest, my blood ran cold. I knew I had to find shelter quickly or I wouldn't last the night. My daughter's smiling face greeted me from my driveway as I returned home from a hard day. Where's the rest of her? She asked me why I was breathing so heavily. I wasn't. Don't look behind you. He doesn't like to be seen. I said I would babysit my niece. That was before I met Stacy, her imaginary friend. No matter how much we fight, my wife will always prepare my coffee in the morning, though this time, it did taste a little like almonds. Us being twins, my brother and I often share experiences and sensations. I only wish she had warned me before getting open heart surgery. That jerk just gave me a middle finger. I swear, your honor, I don't know what the rest of his body is. My four-year-old said he wished that people didn't have to knock. I told him about doorbells, and he asked me to install one on his window. Did you know that there's no such thing as a left-handed person? There are your kind, and then there are those who escape from the other side of your mirror. I was on my way to school one morning when something in the woods caught my eye. No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't get it back. It's just a harmless mosque on the wall, my mother tells me. It's easy for her to say, since it doesn't appear in her room every night. The spiders worked quickly to wrap their prey tightly in silk. The man's muffled screams grew fainter with each new layer. I relive burying my friends from the war in my dreams, and I'm afraid to sleep. Not because of the night terrors, but because I wake up with scratches on my arms and dirt all over the floor. I came home after my week-long trip away and took a shower. I pressed the towel in the room against my face and discovered it was already wet. I begin tucking him into bed and he tells me, Daddy, check for monsters under my bed. I look on the need for his amusement and see him. Another him under the bed, staring back at me, quivering and whispering, Daddy, there's somebody on my bed. Alone in my room, I sneezed softly. Bless you, someone said. I love diving into the deepest parts of the ocean where you can't see the bottom. This time, I can't see the surface either. It's been 315 days since the global outbreak, 187 days since I realized I might be the only survivor, and 3 days since the two of us found each other in the wreckage of the world and regained hope. I had been alone so long I almost forgot that hallucinating imaginary companion is the first sign of infection. The world ending in 2012 wasn't a prophecy, it was a suggestion. We should have listened, but now it's here. Punctuality has never been my strong suit. As I sit here and watch the last ship leave for New Earth, I wish it was. Spend 24 hours locked in the old insane asylum and win a million dollars. It's been 26 hours, so why is the door still locked? My brother and I sat down with the Ouija board, and we both placed our hands on the planchette. He says, Cole, are you here with me? And I moved the planchette to yes. <laughs>